Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here? Well, what we have here, you can label this as equation one and this as equation two. And from equation one here, we make y the subject. And this this become y equals to ten minus x. And we can label this as equation three. Okay, from equation two here, which is x times y equals to 10 we substitute equation 3 here that this this becomes x times y which is now 10 minus x then equals to 10 and next step here x open this bracket and this becomes 10 x minus x squared equals to 10 then we can rearrange on this side and this gives us minus x squared plus 10x and taking 10 to this side we call minus 10 equals to 0 here next step here we multiply 2 by minus 1 multiply this 2 by minus 1 and here this become plus x squared minus 10x then plus 10 here still equals to zero here that is here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to one b equals to minus 10 and c equals to 10 and when we apply the quadratic formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac over 2a at this here we have x equals to minus minus 10 plus or minus square root of minus 10 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10 and all over 2 times 1 at this this becomes x equals to minus times minus here that's plus that's 10 then plus or minus square root of here we have minus 10 squared that's 100 and minus 4 times 1 times 10 that's 40 then all over 2 times 1 that's 2 then here yeah, this becomes x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 100 minus 40 we have 60 then over 2 here and also we can express 60 as 4 times 15 which implies this becomes x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 4 times 15 then over 2 here now we can break this when we have root a times b the same thing as root a times root b that is this becomes x equals to 10 plus or minus root 4 times root 15 over 2 that is we have x equals to 10 plus or minus root 4 that's 2 then we have root 15 over 2 here that is when we factor 2 up here we have x equals to 2 into bracket here remain 5 then plus or minus here remain root 15 plus bracket over 2 at this year 2 cancelled each other we are left with x equals to 5 plus or minus root 15 and here we have two possible values of x that is the first value of x, x1 equals to 5 plus root 15. And the second value of x, x2, we have 5 minus root 15. Then here we can get the value of y using the equation 3, which is y equals to 10 minus x. Then on this side, we have y1 is now equals to 10 minus x1 which is 5 plus 
root 15 that is here minus open this bracket and we have y1 equals to 10 minus 5 minus root 15 that is we have y1 equals to 10 minus 5 is 5 then minus root 15 and here we have the first set of solution x1 comma y1 I write it out and this becomes x1 comma y1 then equals to 5 plus root 15 uh, 5 minus root 15 that is also on this side we get the value of y2 that is y2 equals to using this same relation we have 10 minus x2 which is 5 minus root 15 that is here yeah, minus also open this bracket and we have y2 equals to 10 minus 5 then plus root 15 that is here we have y2 equals to 10 minus 5 is 5 and plus root 15 and the second set of solution as well x2 y2 we write it out and we have x2 comma y2 equals to 5 minus root 15 comma 5 plus root 15 at least we have these two sets of solutions and when we look at it here the value of x here is the value of y here and the value of y here is the value of x here then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem at this we can use the first solution here to test in equation one and two and from equation one what we have is x plus y equals to 10 and when we substitute the value of x and y, we have 5 plus root 15 plus 5 minus root 15. Is it equals to 10 on this side? That is here. Root 15 minus root 15, this cancelled each other. And we are left with 5 plus 5. Is it equals to 10 on this side? And of course, 5 plus 5 here is 10. Which is equals to 10 here left hand side equals to the right hand side then this two solutions here will satisfy the first equation and also for the second equation x tends y equals to 10 we have x that's 5 plus root 15 times y which is 5 minus root 15 is it equals to 10 on this side then here this follows when we have a plus b into brackets and open bracket a minus b this same thing as a square minus b square that is we can write all we have as 5 square minus root 15 square is it equals to 10 on this side 5 square is 5 times 5 that's 25 minus here square cancel square, square root that's 15 is it equals to 10 here and of course 15 25 minus 15 is 10 equals to 10 here left hand side as well equals to the right hand side and therefore conclude that this two set of solutions also satisfy the second equation and don't forget this step subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comment and see you next class bye for now